Greetings, citizens. I am Trip Rodriguez, and this is the first in a new set of dual joystick setup videos. This segment is going to be why dual joystick. So we're going to talk a little bit here about why I say that dual joystick is the way to play Star Citizen, and uh, overall how we set it up as far as how you use your dual joysticks to control your ship. So the reason that dual joysticks are ideal for a game like Star Citizen is that in Star Citizen you are uh, able to move in any direction in a three-dimensional space. You have full, what's called six degrees of freedom, six different axes that you can move on. And with two Thrustmaster T16,000Ms, which if you're in the US should cost you under a hundred bucks, including shipping for the pair of them, uh, you have joysticks that are equally as accurate as the most expensive joysticks on the market for PCs and you have six full analog axes to move on. Now if that confuses you a little bit and you're thinking why would I want analog instead of digital, when we say analog in terms of uh, joysticks and things like that, uh, digital means on and off like a key on a keyboard. You can strafe sideways at full speed or you can not strafe sideways at all. Where with an analog axis, which is what you get out of a joystick, you are able to use variable control. You'll be able to move slowly to the side, or fast to the side, or half speed to the side, uh, whatever you want to do. And to have an axis like that available for every one of the six different directions you can move in a three-dimensional space means you have much finer control of your ship, and you can execute maneuvers that people who have only digital control of some of those axes are not able to take advantage of. So. The six different directions that you can move in a three-dimensional space are pitch, which is nose up and nose down, something very familiar to you, yaw, which is nose right and nose left, and roll, right wing down, left wing down. So those are your three rotational axes. Now where things start to get interesting with, uh, with space is you have three additional axes. These are the directions that you can actually move in rather than rotate. So forward and backward is called surge, left and right is called sway, and up and down is called heave. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into uh, the, uh, the dual joysticks and how you will be using them to control your ship. All right, so here we are looking at the pair of Thrustmaster T16,000M joysticks. And uh, the axes that I want you to bind to the different controls. So for your right hand joystick, you want to use your primary two axes, X and Y, Y being forward and back, for aiming. You are not using uh, roll on your X axis like an airplane. It doesn't make any sense to do that. The reason roll is on the X axis on an airplane joystick is because of the mechanics of atmospheric flight. In atmospheric flight, you're using the lift of the wing uh, to basically facilitate your turns because trying to make a turn using the rudder is extremely ineffective. There's a bit more to it than that, but that's the basics. There's no reason to handicap yourself by using a control that is necessary on airplanes in space when it will actually give you a lot less control of where you're aiming. If you're a really good pilot and you're using roll on your x-axis on your right-hand joystick, uh, I advise you to actually switch over because no matter how good you are now, you will be better if you get accustomed to flying with it the correct way. So, first one is your X axes. Your X axes are your left and right on the joystick. Alright, so X axes, right hand joystick, yaw, turning left and right to aim. And for your left hand control, strafing left and right, aka sway. Next control is your Y axis, right hand joystick, Y axis is nose up and nose down. Left hand controller, Y axis, is going to be move forward and move back. We actually don't want to use throttle at all when we are dogfighting. And the reason for that, basically if you are using throttle in your ship, what the throttle does is your flight computer is always trying to basically set the ship up so that it is moving in the direction that you are looking. The only reason to do that really is to keep it from being disorienting. See it as kind of a, a newbie mode, right? So if you are flying around using throttle in a dogfight, 
basically what's happening is by using that newbie mode you are making your movements much more predictable and you're going to make yourself an easier target to hit you're also sacrificing some control of your spacecraft so by using strafe forward and strafe back on that left hand stick for your y axis you are able to seamlessly transition from forward to right to backward to left to forward. You can move that stick around and now with the X and Y axes, basically you can move on any direction in a horizontal plane relative to yourself, to your pilot. That is very beneficial for being able to uh, be a lot more evasive, being able to control your range to target uh, and, and such things as that, as well as making yourself much less predictable in the way that you fly. Let's see, our uh, third axis for each joystick, those are going to be the twist axes, the Z axis on each of the joysticks. The right hand one I recommend using for strafe up and down, and the left hand one for roll. And the reason for this is that roll is a control that you're going to use a lot in combat. Strafing up and down is going to be used for the occasional juke and for takeoffs and landings, things of that variety. So basically what it comes down to is that the strafe up and down is going to be the one of the six axes that you use the least and it is certainly the one that you will use the least while you are dogfighting. Strafing up or down in place of strafing sideways as many of the advanced maneuvers require is actually generally not advantageous because you have a lot less field of view up and down. You're more likely to crash into asteroids and that sort of thing and it's also more difficult to keep your target in sight so we don't want that so you're going to be strafing mostly to the side and by putting the least used control there on the right hand stick that basically minimizes the effect that using that twist axis is going to have on your aim. The roll axis you should be using a lot while you're dogfighting to manage g-forces, to manage your field of view. Uh, so you're going to be using a lot of roll and if you're using a lot of roll on your right hand stick that you're using to aim then it's going to be throwing your aim off. You move it to the left hand and it's not. All right, uh, so that pretty much covers the Six Degrees of Freedom control setup using dual joysticks and why you should use dual joysticks. In addition to being superior to a HOTAS, which makes your flight much more predictable uh, and a lot less dynamic, uh, it also is a lot more fun, it's really, really immersive and enjoyable. So I think it is something that you will be very, very happy with if you switch over. All right, guys, I hope that helps some of you out. And uh, make sure you check out the rest of the video segments that I will be putting up for actually going through and getting these controls set up and for setting up button bindings as well for your dual Thrustmaster T16000X. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.